and welcome. This is an introduction to Adobe Audition CC, the 2017 release. Okay, so I've been using Adobe Audition since version one, and it's been my main audio production workstation, digital audio workstation for a number of years until I moved to Reaper to do MIDI production. Um, but that's another story. This is about Audition, and Audition is all audio. So as you can see over here, as I've shown in another video, we have the different uh, layouts. It's very similar to Premiere and the other Adobe products in that you have these different layouts. You can do edit audio to video, radio production, uh, video mixing, advanced mixing, simple editing, mastering and analysis, loudness restoration, so on. So this is uh, all things audio and it's used quite a bit to interface with Premiere to edit audio from video projects that you might have. So there are several views in here. The first one would be, let's see, let me pull up a file, okay. This is the edit view. This is where it opens to normally. And you have over here your panel where your files that you open go. Here's your effects rack, your markers if you were to put markers in here like this. And if I wanted to mark there, and then you can actually take this, I believe, and do things with that selection. There, I just made a selection, and you can adjust the selection like that. You have your heads up display where you can do things like amplify, and uh, it's still called amplify even though you're turning it down. We'll go ahead and undo that. Okay, and I'll go ahead and delete these markers. I don't need them. Okay, and you have the, your top and tail edits like your trim to do uh, fade outs. And you can see everything represented graphically right there. Go ahead and undo that. And here's your top edit. See the different fade curves. And it applies those changes right away. Now this, the edit view is what we call destructive editing. Any changes that you make here get saved into the files. You can see this asterisk here and here indicate that I've made changes. And I can go ahead and save those changes or I can go ahead and close it and not save the changes, but uh, we'll, we'll bring this back. This is snapping, so that means that the, uh, the selection here will snap to these ruler marks on the grid. Right in here, these, these little uh, markers on the grid will snap to those. So I use a shortcut right there. I, I'm using the scroll wheel to zoom in. And you can zoom right into the sample level and see everything. It's one nice thing about this. And you can make very, very precise edits. Like if I wanted to cut just that out, I could cut that out and get these to connect just right like so. See there? And then this will zoom all the way out. Or you can hit the uh, um, control plus backslash or this... Uh, key right under the backspace also does it and it zooms all the way out. You can also zoom in up here using this or you can use your plus and minus keys on the keyboard. That's another way to do it. Another thing this does is it will show you a preview editor. Okay, So if I were to apply some changes in this destructive area it will reflect the changes here. This is starting to get a little bit deeper so I, I won't go too much into that but you can basically see what it will look like after changes that you've made, like let's say uh, delay and echo, let's put an analog delay. Um, that's not a huge change, but you get the idea. Okay, so I'll go ahead and uh, remove the effect. You can see it, it changed there. And that's a good way to preview what it can do, especially if you're going to do something that ends up making it louder. Okay, we'll close the preview window. The next uh, section is the uh, the CD editor which I have another video about so you can come over here and you can take audio files drop them in and you can go ahead and burn a CD with this section okay so we have the waveform editor and the CD editor which the shortcut would be um, 8 and so you have 8 for CD 
9 for the waveform editor, and 0 for the multi-track. Now, multi-track, if I go ahead and hit 0, it's going to want me to create a new multi-track session. I don't want to do that at this time, so I'll go ahead and open a recent project. All right. And here we are inside of the multi-track session. Now, you can see it has some carryover from from this, you still have your level meters, and uh, you also have your level meters in your effects panel. I believe that is the same here. Whoops, wrong one. Nine. Yes. Okay. Okay. But what you have in the multi-track section, if I can zoom in here, let's see, zoom in. You can also zoom in on this axis so you can see we have individual tracks here and they're all playing at once and to see uh, they each have their level meters here and you can see volume and pan controls but here you can see the effect all the tracks here and they all come out through this master fader here which is set to zero right now and something new is they actually have different colors for the faders based on the track color. That that was that did not exist in the previous version that I was using. But it kind of helps you keep track of things. You know, we have a little EQ curve that I put in, which doesn't I don't appear to be using. Huh. Okay. There is a lot of functionality here which I won't dive into in, in this uh, introduction. But this is basically like a mixer, an analog mixer. Kind of, you have your your uh, EQ here. You have your uh, your uh, your effects inserts, and you have your your routing. And you can route it to different uh, buses. They're called. And here are my buses, and you can apply effects to a group of tracks that way. And that's a more efficient way than applying an effect to each track individually. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my zoom out thing there we go as you can see I've used markers in here to uh, in this case it's an, since it's an audio drama this is to mark scene changes okay so I'll play a little bit of it after that the offer will be made to the next qualified cadet I understand and we can take a look at it one question here. sir why me you came highly recommended sir Needless to say, this was unexpected. But why me? So, then these the these are pretty much the same as the master fader here. Um, the volume answer level. came. Hey, sis. Thomas. Who here else? I, I saw your name on the station the roster. Tracks. What do you know? Little Bree Summers is almost an academy grad. It brings it now. If I did have dual monitors, I could go up here and say uh, maximum editing dual monitor, and I could put the mixer this in a separate uh, on a separate screen, which would be helpful instead of switching back and forth. That way, I can look at this and this at the same time. Of course, you can also adjust any of these panels to do that, but I prefer to have it on a separate screen. There's much more real estate. So let's see. What about those cruisers, I have distortion, but it looks like they're still sitting there. Okay. Think. Incoming transmission. Patrol captain, you will power down your weapons and shields. Then prepare to transfer the Argian nationals to. I'm trying to get a place where a lot is happening. Graciously offered one last. Okay. Gabriel, you in one. Oh, here we go. Building. Sir, both ships have fired hull crackers. Nukes. Shields to full power. Gunners, face them now. Let's jam them. They're vectoring in, closing at sublight. They want us to watch while they nuke us. Another ship oh. exiting. Tr oh. Commander replied, "They answer to an authority." High Low intensity. You just had to provoke them. Oh, where is that thing? Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here is what I was looking for. Position confirmed, sir. Okay. Begin search grid. Lynch full scan. Summers, try to reacquire that signal. I have the signal, sir. It's faint, but I think I can get a lock on it. Got it. Confirmed. I have targets. 15 degrees port. 140,000 kilometers. And I have an anomaly. Captain, it's a compacted black hole. Must be. So 
That must be here. Their upper hatch. Subbers, relay that to the Argade commander. Right here. Stress approaching critical. Using shields to compensate. Helm is sluggish, sir. Can you hold our position? For now, yes. Alert. Outer hull integrity failure in 10, 9, 8, Bridge. 7, all present and accounted for. Five, Hatches are sealed. Four, Ledge cutter three, loose. Gutter is foreign, it, sir. Emergency. And of course, I have all kinds of crazy uh, automation and different stuff happening through here, which would go beyond the scope of an introduction. But this is basically what it looks like doing a multi track. And this is, of course, a very complex one with a lot of tracks you can have you can have any number of tracks or less tracks in this um, for a simpler thing let's say you're doing a six parts for a song six tracks and you can go it's pretty much unlimited so anyway hopefully that wasn't too confusing and this isn't it uh, hopefully this wasn't too confusing as an introduction that is to adobe audition cc and if you want to hear the full project, I'll put a link to that probably in the box and also in the cards. And uh, thank you for watching and see you next time.